Hello all, welcome to my channel. This is Sivram. This is your Sivram. Okay. So before the class, we are talking about the network, basic networking, and then the OSI model. Okay. So now we are continuing with the OSI model. Okay. So first of all, what is the OSI model? What are what are the purpose of the OSI model? You know that, right? So first of all, uh, we clarify one thing. Um, go through one thing. Uh, after that, we will. Uh, continuous with the networking layer on. Okay, fine. OSI model. Hey, this is a snipping tool. It will con. It will cop. It will. It will take a snap and then it will place it here, and then I will explain on it. Okay, fine. Okay. Sorry for the interruption. Okay, fine. Now we are going to the topic. First of all, first we are know that what is the application layer. Application layer is nothing but it will some application using for Chrome, Firefox, something any anything any application you want to do. Uh, FTP, FTP server, something like that. If it is, if it is, that's how the application, right? So this is application layer, and then presentation is nothing but you know that already. Uh, but we will rec we will revise on it. Okay, fine. Uh, this is a encryption part. This is a encryption part, and then the session layer is once you are logged in. After that, it will uh, stay something. It will automatically logged out. So that's the reason it's a session layer, and then the these three layers are combined with it's called uh, yeah i color change the color so these three layers is called combined with the payload okay payload okay this is a payload okay so after that uh, we will know that what is the transport layer we will uh, discuss the previous class we will deeply discuss about the tcp and the udp layer right so we are totally tcp and udp layer udp user datagram transmission control protocol okay so these two is a very most and most important protocols okay so after that we will configure the how we'll design that so first the payload is here so first the payload after that transport layer tcp after that it will come the source ip and destination ip this is a payload so i'll change the color this is a payload payload means this is a payload and then after that it will the tcp after that it will source ip and destination ip address so first whatever whatever the network layer so network layer is have source ip address and destination ip address also so first what is the source ip address source ip address is nothing but uh, your pc's ip address your pc is now now i get now now my pc i check the pc how will uh, sir how will know what is the ip address of it ip config so go to the command prompt and then type ip config ip ip config the wow this is a IP address of my because 192.168.239.188 this is my IP address so okay so this is my IP address 192 something like that so okay fine so after that what is the destination IP destination IP means now uh, I'll ping google.com sorry it's a dot okay google.com i'll get the replay from him i'll get the replay so now my pc is going to uh, going to reach the google server and then after that we, it will replaying for me so this pinging packet is also its ping is a payload so 
I will clearly explain what is the payload means. I send the ping. So here, here the ping is a payload. Its ping contains a random packet. It's a B C D one two three something. A B C D one two three. It's also random random data. A B C D one two three. It's it's called a random data. So okay. It's a random data or D. It's a random data ping. You will ping any anywhere in the, in the world you want to do something uh, uh, Amazon dot in or Flipkart dot in. You will ping also. You will play. But the ping content I have only for the random data. So okay. After that it will contain with TCP protocol. TCP protocol. So here the ping is not a TCP. It's ICMP protocol. Okay. It's a ICMP protocol. We are also discuss about the ICMP protocol uh, for the future sessions. So first, um, just just know that what is it? Ping uh, ping protocol is ICMP. Okay, fine. After that, it will connecting with the source IP and destination IP. So what is the source IP? What is the source IP means? My IP address one eighty two one sixty eight. It's my IP address. So what is the destination IP address? It's a Google IP address. What is the Google IP address? I don't know what is the Google IP address. Because uh, I don't know what is the Google IP address, but I um, but I really reach the Google IP address. So how how it is possible to do that? Because <coughs> NS lookup. Google dot com. NS lookup means NS lookup is mainly used to do, used to do convert the in NS lookup mainly used to do con convert the which you wanted to do that so so now NS lookup is google dot com google dot com dot com is the it's my IP address and authorized by something different on the Google and then the IP address of the Google is here so now I copy that and then paste it here Chrome and then paste it here and then enter. So it's just not a valid one. So I think uh, it's not of uh, not of the answer. Okay, fine. So finally, so no problem, guys. You will do that. So first of all, what is the source IP? You want to reach that IP address is destination IP. So this is a IP address. This is a IP address concept. Okay. So so you want to know that, right? So after that, we are move, moving together with. What is it? It's a data link layer. So, what is mean by data link layer? Okay, fine. So, I'll change the color on it. Green color. Okay. <laughs> okay. What is a data link layer? Data link layer is nothing but data link layer is source data link data link layer contain source MAC address and destination MAC address. Source MAC address and destination MAC address. So, so what about the MAC address and then what about the function func functionality of the MAC address? We are future. We are we are in discuss about next class. We are about the we are do that next class and after that uh, we will discuss the MAC address and then we will go to the IP address and we will go to the TCP and we will go to the ping. So we will deeply discuss about these those things also. So. So fine, no problem. Do do that. So my MAC address is nothing but here is here is coming. So yeah. Uh, okay. Get MAC is a code on it. I'll type it. It's my physical media address detected. It's my Physical address. Get back. It's my physical address. Okay. It's 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 disconnected because because I I will connect it with the Wi-Fi, right? So it's a LAN cable. So it's a physical layer. Okay, physical layer. It's a MAC address of MAC address. Okay, MAC address of my PC. So okay, fine. After that, we will move into the concept of 
what is the physical layer okay so 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 many of them confusing on it so so many youtube channels also do that yeah, we are clearly know what is it um, source mac and destination mac what is about the physical address he, he will not clearly understand so some youtube channels also doing the same thing but it's not clearly do that i also so see some youtube channels also here they are not clearing the topic i will clear that okay no problem so what does it mean by physical layer physical layer means you are in pc so you are you are you are using the pc these those things you are configured with the application application layer presentation layer session layer transport layer in the talk layer and then data link layer those things we are the bytes it's a byte byte means nothing but zeros and ones so so we are already know that what the computers only know computers only know the zeros and ones right so computers only know the zeros and ones so this payload is converted to some zeros and ones something 0 1 0 0 0, 0. okay fine after that what is a tcp yeah it's a tcp right so tcp is 16 16 have something the binary number 1 0 1 0 1 0 something like that it, it will depends of the depends of the binary number i i don't go i don't want to go the binary calculation on it it will it will really a big topic and then you you are not interested like that also so i i i will differently different classes we it will do that with the binary binary uh, decimal to binary conversion also we are do that okay fine after that it will um, source ip and destination ip right source ip and destination ip so ip and destination ip is also a number because 192 168 1.2 1.3 it's it's 192 192 convert to the binary and then 1.2 it's convert to the binary so something like that it will some zeros and ones so combinations of zeros and ones the so combinations of zeros 101010111111 something like that it will do some going going around the number something so after the after till this after this layer it's it's coming up the data so these datas are converted to sorry i'll do that okay so these datas are converted to bytes to digital codes so so what is mean by nic so you know the nic card right so you know the nic card it will connecting with the connecting with another pc so it will connecting with the another pc and uh, it will connecting means the these all applications uh, sending the data through the wire sending to him after that it will read after that it will read after that it will send the replay on the on this way so this is the concept of physical layer so so we are clearly know that i uh, will draw that okay we are clearly know what what is the inside on it okay first uh, the network uh, network interface card is nothing but i uh, will do that now what is the nic card okay i'll search nic what is the network interface card you do that okay so this is the nic card so this this via the data will be converted so i will snap and and then clearly explain okay new okay copy here and paste new and paste it here the new paint application and 
and paste the new application here okay fine so now we are going to discuss about this thing okay mm, okay I'll, I'll say i'll set the center is okay fine so now we are digitally converted the payload and then after that it will convert it to the <coughs> tcp udp and then it will convert it to ip uh, source ip and destination ip and then the source mac and destination mac address these all thing converted to the bytes to digital code it will go via the wire so go via the wire so these codes are converted to 0 to zeros and ones zeros and ones and then after that it will convert it to in this wire I'll, I'll change the color on it it will not clear okay so this 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 wire they are sending the data it will it will appear on it okay so after that so after that so after that it will sending means so uh, the user is capturing the data right the user is capturing the data the captured data it's contained full contained data it's right it's contained the uh, first first of all the pc no what is it what is it what is it it's a mac address it's a mac address so first he will he will check but the pc check what is the mac address of the pc if it is you have your pc means it will open so the pc of the mac address is not this the, the source source mac and destination mac right so here the source mac address the source mac address is something upon its sender so destination mac address is the pc's mac address it's not a pc's mac address means it will drop the packet okay so so it will it will have the packet means it will open the packet so after that it will open so first mac address packet it will open so after that the mac address packet it will open so it will contain with the source ip and destination ip packet source ip and destination ip packet so source ip and destination ip so source ip is sender so destination ip is the receiver ip so after that source ip it's anyone but destination ip is the pc ip it's verify so it is the destination ip is uh, equal to the pc's ip means it will open the cover it will open the cover after that it will read so again again the same same thing happen so after that it will going on it so after that the tcp ip packet is also there so then we are going to discuss about what is this what is this uh, first of all the mac address is open and then ip address is open and then after that it will taking with the tcp and udp packet what about the tcp and udp packet so it will know that what is a tcp and udp it's a ping packet right so icmp okay it's a icmp packet it's a icmp packet so it will sending the ip address ip icmp packet so icmp packet it will <coughs> clearly know that so what is it it's a random packet it's a random packet it's a pinging packet you know the pc what is a random packet what is it what is it the inside on it so after that it will go into the payload payload part have something a b c d some random random packets so the pc have that it will replay on it i do, yeah pc send the replay on it so this process is so simple so i'll clearly explain last thing okay first the mac address packet it will open after that the destination source and destination ip address it will open okay source and destination ip address it will open so after that it will going to inside after that going to inside this tcp or udp packet it will check so I uh, ICMP packet. It's a ping packet. It's a, it's a ICMP packet. So ping packet is a ICMP packet. So after that, it will go to the payload part. Pay payload part. It will know. That. So it's something a layer, right? So uh, inner layer and then outer layer and then outer layer <laughs> and then it will cover. It's it's more and more secure. Something like that. So because the uh, OSI model is a mainly useful thing. So so some here, here this con this concept is appear on it. After, 
this concept is coming after that the networking is most secure of it most secure though this concept is after that coming the most secure we are, we are not knowing the person who are, uh, we are we are also discuss about the cryptography and then something also we are we are in future we will discuss on it so at the time we will what is the what is the, what is the cia cia is most important cia is most important uh, confidentiality integrity and authentications so these parts we will discuss also and then next class we will do whatever it is it's a mac address it's a mac address class next class we are going to the mac address so now we are quickly uh, quickly revote what we are doing what what we are know what we are know the now classes what we are know today so first the application layer is using for the application and then the presentation layer is using for the encryption presentation layer using for the encryption i'll change the color and then the session layer and then the session layer it will con connecting to the connecting to it will not uh, active means the session is deeply discover De deeply <coughs> sorry it will automatically logged out so these three parts are payload okay these three parts are payload so then after that it will connecting to the transport layer so transport layer have tcp and udp tcp and udp layers udp packets tcp and udp packets and then after that um, what about what about you know the right so, so after that it will source ip and destination ip source ip and destination ip and then source mac and destination mac and then the physical layer and then the, its physical layer so it's a sender side it's a sender side but the receiver side is how we will know that the receiver side first we will know the physical layer and then after that it's a source mac and destination mac after it will open the source ip and destination ip after that it will open the tcp and udp packets after that it will open the payload packet it will after that you will see the payload packet it will respond on it in the in meanwhile it's the same way same way means you are you are it's a, it meanwhile it's the same way means it will also do that it do the osa model purpose osa model following the procedure on it okay so this is the purpose of the osa model so and, and then what about the inner layers and then what about the mac address and what about the what about the ip address also we are we are we are deeply know that after the few classes okay fine so thank you thank you so much today i'll end the meeting here okay bye bye okay fine okay i'll i'll end the meeting meeting here so fine uh, i lost uh, i want to do share one thing means so first you will uh, you first of all you know the concept after that it will uh, you will <coughs> you will play the uh, play again this video and take the notes so i intermediately you are know that in between you are know that uh, you know pass and then after that you will taking your note means it will uh, it will not a good good practice you know what so first of all you know the concept after that it will take the it will uh, after that you will coming up uh, again you will you will know that you will uh, read the video and then take the notes so this my strategy so this is a very useful strategy okay fine so i end the meeting here good good day have a nice day for you so thank you thank you so much for all uh, bye bye